It's uh, busy. It's yeah. busy. When we were yeah. here in January, it wasn't this busy. It wasn't, but there's a lot of traffic. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's and a I hustling, think, bustling. I think um, I have footage from when we were here in January, but I found it very sleepy and uh, there wasn't a lot going on because it was right after the holidays, the Christmas holidays, and everybody here is on vacation, restaurants shut down, that sort of thing. And so we felt uh, the need to come back in February and show you the real Abba Fera, Turn left um, onto Ruadas the way people would then like to see it. To stay on so. Telecommunicacos. Okay, we're going to let Google give us directions and head out and we'll see you in a minute. Welcome to Java Walker World and a new travel destination in the Algarve of Portugal. Today we are delighted to bring you the iconic resort city of Albufeira, Algarve, Portugal and share the why it's so special for so many. As you already know, Portugal is a hot traveler's destination. Portugal's culture, history and natural beauty are just a few reasons why so many are drawn here. So stay with us as we continue to visit Portugal's outstanding beaches, ancient cities, quaint villages and savor the marvelous Portuguese food and drink. Well hello everybody. Hello, we're driving in Portugal. Yes, yeah, so we uh, were in Albufeira uh, in January and um, we got a little glimpse of it and so forth, had some nice Instagram shots, that sort of thing going on. But anyway, we decided today to come back to Albufeira and take a look and see if we have something that we can share with you. It is a very busy, busy area. I can share that, that, that information with you. Um, we're just going through a roundabout. Pay attention um, and so I'm going to share sort of like the highway area the, the main roads that sort of thing and then we'll get, get into the downtown area um, the historical beachside area so that you can see it it is a windy day again today but it's beautiful just the same I'll do my best um, to try to camouflage all the wind just plug your ears plug your ears so stay with us as we explore. This is the newer part of Albufeira. You can see it's a, it's how a, modern it is. It's a busy area. I, I'm surprised. 300 it's meters at Rotunda dos Minhagas. Take the third exit and stay on Avenida dos Descobrimentos. So they are very well connected by buses and so forth, so you can get to the beach easily. Lots of apartments. I think it's a city where people work and play and vacation and visit and so forth and it's kind of an interesting place like that. Um, so there's lots of little suburbs in and around this area. When you're looking for an Airbnb in this area it may be named a different area but it will be Albufeira. Uh, just take a, a closer look at that and you'll see that for example we just came from Oiluj de Agua, which is like a little suburb uh, of, a little beach suburb of Albufeira, part of the community as well, and just like 10 minutes away. It was very, very pretty. It's like you're in Florida here. It's uh, nice boulevards with all the resorts, the golf courses, the hotels, yes, the it's condos. A, it's, it's very, very uh, it's very developed. Yeah. It's very developed and not uh, old world developed, new world developed. Um, Exit which, the roundabout. Which has its appeal, right? Um, so it depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if In 200 meters, continue straight to stay on Avenida dos Descobrimentos. Thank you, Google. Uh, if, this, if you're coming to uh, the Algarve of Portugal for the very first time, this might be a good place to come and get your bearings, understand uh, the area, and then, you know, you can look for something all along the Algarve. It's, it's a huge area. Continue straight to stay on Avenida dos Descobrimentos, then turn left onto Presidio do Movimento dos Forcas Armada. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, lots of shopping malls, all of that thing. So if you're coming for a long time the way we do for turn the winter. Turn left onto Presidio do Movimento dos Forcas Armada. Then turn left onto Rua dos Telecomunicacos. 
if you're coming for a long time, maybe this sort of area might be good for you. If uh, might be something that is of interest, eh? Don't yeah, you think? I think so. I think yeah. so. So stay with us. We'll see if we can find our way down to the beach, the uh, more iconic area. It's busy. Uh, it's busy. When we were yeah. here in January, it wasn't this busy. It wasn't, but there's a lot of traffic. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's and a I hustling, think, bustling. I think um, I have footage from when we were here in January, but I found it very sleepy and uh, there wasn't a lot going on because it was right after the holidays, the Christmas holidays, and everybody here is on vacation, restaurants shut down, that sort of thing. And so we felt uh, the need to come back in February and show you the real Abba Fera. Turn left um, ruin. So you can see how modern and at the same time how traditional. Continue straight to stay on Rua Das Telecomunicacos. How traditional it is as well. Lots of people, so things have really changed from January. Um, a lot of uh, Brits come down here for short term vacation because it's so close for them. And then they have like Ryanair. Uh, really uh, low budget hot, uh, airlines that come down here to Faro. Meters, turn right onto Rua Sacadora Cabral. Yeah, to the Faro airport, and then uh, they can stay anywhere here, and it's very economical for them. So we we hear a lot of that. We hear a lot of uh, people from um, uh, like Denmark, those northern European countries. So we're hearing a lot of those voices as we're coming along here. We found some free parking, which is great. Uh, and we're going to go into the beach zone, that area. Like I said, it's a big city. There's lots to see here. If that is your scene, then great. And if not, in and around here, there are a lot of suburbs, something a little quieter, if that's what you're looking for. I think uh, most people who come here for sort of a long term, like a shortish, a short long term, uh, like for a month or two, they tend to rent a car and so you have easy access to all of this. So it's very exciting. Anyway, stay with us. A pretty sweet uh, parking spot here. Um, and as you can see, let me just see if we can, you can already see the ocean right there. And this looks like a bit of a, um, residential area which is kind of nice for me and I think Frank feels the same way we sort of like the traditional areas and that could be just simply his um, background it's easy for us to be in a more traditional area there isn't the, the culture shock that some people might have so I can see how people love Albufeira. I don't even know how to say that properly. Albufeira. Albufeira is, I think, the correct way of saying it. Very, very pretty. And as soon as we get to that coastline, it's going to get windy. So I apologize again. This is not pretty. Now I can see the population and people coming through here has tripled from when we were here in January. Restaurants are opened. Isn't that spectacular? Oh, I'm so glad we came today to show you this. Look at all the people coming. This area is called Mirador de Pau de Bandeira which I believe translate to view of the flagpole. Lots of people on the beach. So imagine how busy it is right now and with the amount of people, imagine what this is like in July. <laughs> it would be really busy here in July. Eh? Sardines are very popular here, but uh, that's what the beaches would be like, full of sardines. <laughs> full of sardines, everybody lined up like they're in a can. <laughs> An escalator, but unfortunately, to get down to the beach or the lower area, unfortunately, the one going down today is not working. So this always makes me dizzy when I do this. Thank goodness the second set of escalators are working.
Now, this escalator takes us to the Praça de Pescadores, which is Fisherman's Square. There certainly are a lot of restaurants, condominiums, hotels, all sorts of accommodations right here. So that's where we just came from, just to give you a point of reference. If you need a taxi, that's what it looks like right there, the official taxis. And I understand that Uber is very popular here as well, so you can use that form of transportation. Now this is Largo Engenheiro Duarte Pacheco, which is the square of the engineer Duarte Pacheco. So I guess in honor of him. Nice big space for lots of people. Wow, what a spectacular beach and look, beach chairs already out there. The season has started. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely day. Well, we meandered back to the beach on that upper level and you could see that even the cliffs have some ruins, ancient ruins right there. Now these cliffs are forever changing. There is, uh, you know, because the sand just drops, it's soft rock, you get a bad storm and all of a sudden the cliff has changed. But I'm just gonna share this little street with you. As I'm walking by, I'm thinking, how pretty is this? Isn't that pretty? Well, let's take a walk through here and get away from that wind. This road, it says, Travessa de Igreja Vela, so the crossroad of the old church. And this looks so pretty. Such an idyllic place to be. Gorgeous! Could you imagine getting a rental in a place like this? Idyllic.
So, Puerta de Santa Ana, this is the site of the old church that was destroyed in the earthquake in the 1700s, it's saying here. And they then rebuilt the church off of another site. So, this at one time was a castled area with a church. Isn't that interesting? The earthquake was in 1755. And here we are, we've done a full circle, we're back at Praça de Pescador. Right, so this is down by the platform of the beach area. There is the escalators that go up that I talked about. And thank goodness the escalators going up are working today. And there is the big beach. And there's where we just came from. Now, when we came down, remember when we started this video, we came down the escalators and we walked through the street, all meandered all the way through those small streets and we came back from this area. Isn't that amazing? Very walkable. Thank you for joining us today on our vlog of Albufeira. Now, if you stay with us until next week, what will we have for you? We'll have beautiful Tavira. Tavira is a beautiful ancient city close to the Spanish border. So come and join us next week as we do two videos, a walkabout of Tavira on Thursday and then our Sunday vlog of Tavira. See you next week. And of course, if you want to follow us on social media, you can do that at Java Walker World. <laughs>